How are you? Good. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Jessica. Hi, Jo. Hello. How are you? Pleased to meet you. This is Emma. It's a pleasure to meet you. And who's this here? My brother, Joey. Hi, Dylan. <laughs> oh, pleased to meet you, too. Can you say hi? No? Moments after I met Dylan, he just sank down into the furniture. I mean, it was only morning. The poor boy looked exhausted. Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Joe, to pleasure to meet you. Do you want to say hi, Dylan? Oh. Okay. No, he's going to... Yeah. Today, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put my bag down and be a fly on the wall. Okay, perfect. Thank you. We're going to have lunch. You go, hey, don't kick me. Go sit at the table. <laughs> and right away, Dylan started acting up. <laughs> What's wrong? Can you hold on just a minute? Do you want chicken? And then I got to see how big an issue Dylan's mealtime antics really are. Yeah. Some water? You're fine. Stop. Why don't you want to eat? Please, I got you watermelon. What's wrong? Want me to cut it? I could cut it for you. You don't want to cut? I was seeing how much he knows exactly what buttons to push. When you look at Dylan, you can clearly see that he has control. Oh. Eat it. You gotta bite it. Finally, we got him to eat a carrot. I'm thinking, oh great, he's gonna eat it. Took a couple chews and decided he didn't like it. Don't spit it out. Dylan likes to chew things up and spit them out. Eat those. It's frustrating with Dylan because sometimes you feel like you're trying to give him what he needs, but he just won't take it. Are you done? <laughs> Dylan's got so much control. Within 10 minutes, he's down from the table and he's in the pantry where he's given treats and sweetie things to eat. We actually just found out he's anemic because of his diet. And so he's got an iron deficiency, which could cause him to be tired and gets the dark circles under his eyes. Mm -hmm. With mum and dad not on top of Dylan's anemia and not providing him with a well-balanced meal, you know why he's got no energy. What do you think? I'm more of like the old-fashioned dad where it's like, well, if he doesn't eat, he'll get hungry and he'll come back. But he doesn't. It's critical that he start to eat healthy food. And his parents know that it is important, yet they're not stepping up to do what is necessary. <laughs> We've dad gone off to the grocery store to pick up a few things, and mum's sitting down at the table doing homework with Emma. We saw Dylan kick off again. And mum did nothing about it. You don't sharpen that. No! <laughs> I know if Dylan doesn't get his own way when I'm helping Emma with homework, homework doesn't get done like it should get done. Everything in the house stops. Give me the pencil. <laughs> Stop. No, <laughs> Get down. No, yes. Fine. <laughs> Dylan screams a lot. <laughs> It hurts my ears. That's how loud it is. Stop, D. <laughs> Emma's struggling to do her homework while Dylan's screaming at the top of his lungs. <laughs> and what's Mum doing to change this? Nothing. <laughs> Coming up on Super Nanny. <laughs> there's no stop to Dylan's relentless demands. <laughs> And Joe doesn't mince words with mom and dad. Stop being pushovers and being lazy. You guys need to mean business. When Super.